Hey everyone, thanks for joining. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and it must be Friday. We're doing another fun fold. Uh, this is called a trifold card, and there's a lot of different trifold cards. So um, if you look for trifold, you're going to see all different things. Uh, this is the one that I decided to make. It's cute. And this is the Nest of Winter's paper, Nest of Winter paper. And then I used the sentiment from the Christmas label. I thought I I fussy cut this bird from the paper. So um, here's the paper. I love this paper. So I used um, this and then I tried to cut the pieces, the strip here and here so that I had whole birds, even though I covered the one in here. Um, just tried to, you know, cut each side around so that I'm not cutting the bird in half when I when I do the cutting. And then I just fussy cut this out and put it on. And I thought it would be a good birthday Christmas card. Oh, I can't think and talk at the same time here. Um, and then I thought the piece on earth with the bird was really cute. Isn't that cute? So, of course, we're going to use different product uh, for today's card. I like to show you variations. And... Um, I'm using brand new product, so let me show you. This is one of the new online exclusives, and it is just so cute. I love it. So it's called the Otterly Amazing, and it's a sweet, and it actually has um, some embellishments and some um, soft cording. This is Lost Lagoon Soft Cording. I'm not going to use that today, but I think it's really cool. These are really cool, too. They're kind of like a... Um, they're called Riverside Irregular Pearls, and they're kind of like a iridescent look. Very cool. And then there's the Utterly Amazing Stamp Set, and these guys are so cute. And then there's coordinating dies and paper. And some of the dies will cut out the stamped images and then some other images, um, but it will also cut out some of the images on the paper. So I am feeling much better, but every once in a while I'll cough. So <laughs> I'm going to just stop it and then cough and then come back. So let's go through some of these papers because I wanted to show you which ones will uh, die cut. So with the dies, I like to keep this in here so that it's easy to slide the paper in. So this is called Oddly Adorable 12 by 12 paper. And you get two sheets of each. And this is so cute because you can cut it and make different uh, different cards, whatever you want to use. And I thought it was cute. So you get two of these. And then the backs are these kind of river rocks. And I think these are so pretty. I love the colors and everything. I think this would be great for background or something like that. And then we have some more. And these are really cute. I'm using this in today's card. I'm trying to remember which ones the dies cut out. I don't think it's those. Um, I think there's a die that cuts out one of these. It's kind of, there's one sheet that there's a lot of dies, or a couple of dies for, I should say. And then there's another die. I should have had this worked out. Is it this one? No. Nope, wrong one. So let's keep going. So the other side of this is just, you know, schools of fish. Cute. And then this one, so there's, and we're gonna use one of these. So this die will cut out this guy. And then this one will cut out this one. So you could either stamp or you can, you know, cut it out using the dies. And look at this one, the mommy and the baby. How so cute. So let's put that aside. And then this is the back. We are gonna use this, this paper as well. It's this water. And then this must be the one. So let's see, I did figure this out, yes. So this will cut out this one, and there is a sentiment that's, um, we're cute together, so I thought that was cute. <laughs> and then you're utterly amazing and love you lots. So just cute, cute, cute. If you like cute, you like this. I usually do flowers, so this is a little bit different, but you know, with the grandkids, you gotta do the cute stuff. And then this is just kind of a, a marbled look, kind of a, maybe rock or something like that. And then I thought this was really pretty. So there's Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock and Balmy Blue and I think maybe Old Olive. And then there's this. 
So, so these are the papers. I really think they're cute. And let's make sure I don't lose any of my papers. So I decided I would go with Bami Blue because I'm going to use this water. And I have, you know, some of my pieces cut, but I'm going to show you how to make the base. And I'll have all the measurements um, in a PDF below. There's a link uh, called a project sheet. And you can go there and you can look at all the measurements and the instructions and pictures and stuff. So let's get our trimmer out. And this is an eight and a half by 11, and we're gonna do five and a half by 11. And I have to say that when I measured this at the end, and I looked at a lot of different um, Pinterest and YouTubes and stuff, and this is the one I, I went with, and it's really only four inches, it's not four and a quarter. And I think you could probably make it four and a quarter if you changed these, or you had a, um, a 12 by 12 piece and you cut this to maybe 11 and a quarter, but, I'm fine with this. It's a little bulky, so I think it works well in the envelope. But I just wanted to give you a heads up on that so you didn't think, did I do something wrong? So we're going to first cut this at five and a half. So this is gonna give us the height. And I'm looking at my, uh, my trimmer. I really have to clean it. I don't know if you ever do those things, um, cleaning your trimmer, but it is a good thing to do. I usually clean in here, but I'm looking, it's kind of dirty. So I will have to clean that. Um, so then we're going to do some scoring. So we're gonna score this at one and three quarters. So one and three quarters. And make sure I've got my cutting up there and use my scoring blade. And then three and a half. My dog is barking. If he keeps it up, I'll stop and come back. So a lot of stuff, they're paving my road. They paved the driveways a couple of weeks ago and now they're paving the road, but they're not in front of my house. They did that yesterday. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be um, too loud here. Uh, let's see, five and a quarter. And then seven. So we did one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter, and now seven. So we just open up the arm and get to seven. Okay, then I'm gonna close this arm up and we're going to do some cutting. So we are going to put this in our trimmer so the five and a half side is up and we are going to move it over to one and a half. So one and a half. And then we're going to cut this from the top score line to the third score line, okay? So there is, let me just show you. There is a little line here that helps you in your guide, okay? So one and a half over here. And then I'm gonna, I'm not gonna close it until I have this and excuse my head. I need to get in here. One and a half, or the top one through the second one down to the third one. Okay, and then we're going to move it over to um, the four inch and do the same exact thing. And that's going to give us, I'm sure you'll, you're catching on, that's going to give us that um, part that kind of is cut out. So right from the first score line to the third score line. Okay, and we can put this away. We're done with this. So now let's get our bone folder out and fold everything. We really want to fold it good. You'll see this one, it's, uh, it is kind of bulky and it doesn't really fold nicely, but I think it stands up nice and uh, it's pretty the way it is. So that's okay with me. So I like to fold everything in and then we'll fold it back. And sometimes just folding it and burnishing it back and forth really helps to kind of break the, um, the paper. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to fold it all back and do the same thing. Just to break that, like the fiber in the paper.
And if you don't have a bone folder, I mean, we carry them, but if you don't have them, you could use a clear block. I do that sometimes when I don't have my uh, bone folder with me. That's just an alternative. It's nice to have all the tools, but if you don't, you could make it work. So then this piece is gonna go in and this piece is gonna go out like this and it folds in half like this, okay? So that's our, so it's like a W, WV, West Virginia. I think I've made these before. <laughs> My brother-in-law went to college at West Virginia, so I, when I see that, that's what I'm seeing, <laughs> the bumper sticker, right? Okay, so now that's, th that's done. Um, you can make this a white layer. Oh, this is a little tight. See, this is, um, let me cut this down. So this is, since the card is only four, yeah, it's four, so this needs to be three and three quarters. I'll make sure that's in the, um, <clears throat> in the instructions. I'm so used to making it four, um, you know, four by five and a quarter. So let's see, this should work. So again, you can make this white or you can use designer series paper. And what I did in here was I put a little white um, to kind of figure out where to stamp the sentiment. And I thought you could write little note here. You could write a little note here. You just don't want to write up here, right? So you want to just, this kind of helps define a space for you to write. So let's get rid of that. And then we're gonna just start, you know, putting things down, gluing them down. There's all different pieces. So this is the three and a three quarters by, um, by five and a quarter. And I'll make sure it is correct in my um, PDF. So all we're gonna do is put pieces down. So I used these pieces so there's two of them, and each one of these is one and a half by five and a quarter. And I almost did this in green, in um, garden green, because I think that's what's in this, this. But I decided, it, I didn't like it against the, the blue as much, but now I feel like that's very blue. Probably be good in white even if I had a white card base. So I'm just going to put these pieces down. Look at the little goldfish. So cute. Okay, and then there's four of these. And these are um, one and a half. So you want the long way to be one and a half by one and a quarter. Cute little faces looking at me. And we're just going to put these down here. Do I have four of them? Did I lose one? I think when I picked up all that paper, I might have, uh, let me find it. I found it right in that stack of uh, papers when I went through the designer series paper. <clears throat> I guess I, uh, I picked it up. Okay. And we'll just put two more down, just like this. Yeah, this would be nice as a white card base, but I think this is good. And I'm wondering if we should do green. I'll show what I'm going to do, and we can uh, change it up to green if we think that would look nicer. Okay. So... Come on. There we go. So let's see. I was going to use this piece that I had left over and cut it, but I'm going to also try it with a green and we can see which one we like better. So this piece is going to be three by one and a half. Three by one and a half. And I'm going to go get a piece of green. No. Three by two and a half. 
two and a half. I was looking at the wrong place. I have my little cheat notes there. All right, I'm gonna get green. So I'm gonna try a piece of green. So three, and then we can decide by two and a half. I think we are down, done with this now. <clears throat> so this piece is going to sit here with this. I think I like the green or the blue, and it's going to sit right on top of that. Yeah, I think the green is nice. It breaks it up a little bit. So, um, and then we're going to put a sentiment on this. Uh, you're utterly amazing, and we're going to die cut this cute little guy. I do have a piece, and let's get the dies out. I hope I have the right piece. This was left over when I cut. This is that background. So this was left over, and I was trying to... Um... Nope, not that one. This one. So I think this swings around nicely. Do I have the wrong one? That's because it's backwards. I do have the wrong one. Let me cut another one. Let's see. Let me find that guy. Okay. I think it's this guy sitting up here. All right. So I'm just going to cut around um, him or her, whatever. And then we'll die cut. Okay, so let me get my machine out. I was thinking it was one of those, but I should have checked before I uh, I started here. So let me get this. <clears throat> Spread these around. Take this. Put them right over. And I'm not even going to tape it. I'm going to wing it. Let's see. <clears throat> you don't know what animal is going to be next. When they came out with the sloth, I thought that was so funny. Because whoever really thought about a sloth? Other than when you're reading Proverbs, right? <laughs> Other than that, I don't think I ever really heard much about a sloth. Um, so... We're going to put this on here and we're going to do this you're utterly amazing and i'm wondering i might do it in the calypso coral what do you think just to pull out a different color so i have my calypso coral and i might use this on the card that's why it's hanging out there you're probably like what is she, what is she doing with that um i cut a, a bunch of pieces out to see how I wanted to do it. So we're going to stamp this up here. And see, it leaves a nice space for this otter. Utterly amazing. So I'm going to glue this down. And you can use dimensionals if you want, but I'm going to glue them right down. Oop. And then let's glue this to the green or the blue or if you wanted to just leave it white um, you can use the size of the cardstock and make it the white okay and then this is going to come right over this i think that's adorable and if you wanted to you could put um, dimensionals on it I don't, I think there's enough bulk and it's funny when I first put it down, I didn't put glue here, but it really should have glue because otherwise it kind of flops and it, I don't think it needs to flop. I think it needs to just open. 
So your choice, I'm going to put it on the whole thing, <clears throat> close it up, and then it really needs to line up with this blue piece in the back. So then this is where I thought I would put the, the fish. I wonder if I should have a green piece there. I think we should do another green piece. So this one is, do I have it upside down too? And I guess I could have put Calypso Coral on this instead of the green as well. That would have been nice. So let's see if we can do another green. So this one was, um, one and a half by two and a quarter. Yeah, so I am going to cut this to one and three quarters by two and a half. We'll see if that works. We'll see how it goes. We could always put white behind it too. Two and a half. <clears throat> And actually, I did have a white piece to go here. So if you wanted to have a white piece for them to write something, you could do that. I wonder if we should do this. And I think I need to make this just a little bit, a hair smaller, because I think it's going to get caught in that. No, I think that's a little too busy. I think I'll do the white piece on the green piece, but I want to cut this just a tad bit because I feel like it's going to get caught there. So I'm really going to just take a tiny bit off. Like that much. <laughs> I don't know, sixteenth of an inch, whatever. Just so it doesn't get caught up in here. I think that's good. And um, I'm going to leave it like I did with this one, where it's just blank. They could write on there. So let's um, glue this down and then glue it on there. And then we just have to do the inside. And put this down. too close. So let's see how that works. <clears throat> Cute. All right, so now we can decorate the inside. Um, on this one, I did the white and should I do this and the white? I feel like that might be too big. I'm just going to do the white. Okay, so this white piece is the same as this white piece. I don't want it to be too big because I want to make sure, you know, it fits behind here. So I thought I would do this um, Love You Lots and then either the fish or this little guy. So let's do the I Love You Lots in uh, the Calypso Coral. Love you lots. And then we want to do this guy with some fish going across. Can the fish go either way? Let's try the fish either way first, and then we'll take it from there. Let me just get a scrap. I want to see if they're upside down or right side up, or does it matter? <laughs> I 
I haven't used these. Yeah, I think they can go either way. Oops. And maybe we should do that in the balmy blue. All right, sorry. I'm trying to figure it out as we go. So we're not gonna do the little otter. We're gonna do this and let me get balmy blue. Okay. Okay, so let's do some balmy blue fish up here. And then down here. Okay, shall I go around? I always think, did I just ruin it? <laughs> so they are swimming around in a circle. Cute. Okay, I think we're good with that. So then we just want to adhere this down. We want to make sure it goes behind where it's going to, to close. So we want to kind of eyeball it and then put it over here without pressing it down, close it. Probably could come out a little bit more so it's kind of more even side to side. Yep, that'll work. And then let's just put some of this cute bling. So on this one, just like on this one, we're going to use that as our two from, love you, whatever, whatever you're going to put there. So let's try to add some of this. I think we'll add it on here and let me get my take your pick tool and so there's some white ones and then there's some I don't know what color they are some more green blue so I'm going to go down here and there's two different sizes so <clears throat> let's put a couple of these down here and then we'll put one more over here Dude. All right. So, triple or trifold cards. These are the two cards, and um, I think they're cute. I think it's a, a fun, it's easy to do. I mean, this looks a little complicated, but um, once you have the idea, it's easy and fun. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Let's see my calendar. So that's what we did this week. This is uh, November 8th, make a trifold card. And next week we'll make a flip flap shutter card. Well, that sounds interesting. Um, and I don't know how to make that yet. I will learn. I make the calendar and then I figure out how to make the cards. So <laughs> um, if you want this calendar, this is my monthly inspiration calendar and you can get it when you subscribe to my email. Uh, list and there's a link below this video with the PDF with instructions and then to shop products on my store um, and to um, Subscribe to my email list and then you'll get this every month when I come out with a new one and I send it each week with uh, Some of the cards I made on here that kind of go along with it, but I always do a um, Video on Friday with some sort of uh, technique or fun fold. All right, so thanks so much, and you have a great week, and I'll see you next Friday.